Hello racers and welcome to a new episode of Circuit Experience with your host Silver Grey Racer and today we are with update 1.53 where we got the new Laguna Seca circuit okay now the eagle eyed amongst you will notice i have four stars okay or four gold medals or four golds that's simply because i went back after i finished it to actually get the b-roll of, of the tracks like that as you can see i've done them all now the problem being is the very first sector here i did in about five goals and my um best time there was um 33.843 now what you're going to see is now i did it the day it come out and then what happened was i got stropped during the third sector <laughs> and i stormed off away from the playstation and left it on <laughs> and instead of saving it as i got the strop i left it and it didn't record i recorded over it because it was more than an hour when i got back to it so i lost it all but this is the first time I've come back to it, as you can see, after the Christmas break, because Christmas and New Year break, because I was got some sort of virus before Christmas, and it, it kept giving me real bad headaches every time I switched the PlayStation on, so I couldn't actually do any more. So this is like coming back to it two weeks later with no practice, just straight on it, and as you can see, I'm doing really well. <laughs> the break did me some good there as we clock a time of 44.6 um which is some 10 seconds slower than gold medal so here we go on on this uh, uh, to be fair to you again it took me about eight or nine attempts to get this sort of time here as we go around the andretti air pin there you need to be doing that around 50 miles an hour so we didn't do too bad here and going into turn three we need to be taking a lot less tire squeal there um, but other than that wasn't too bad I think we need to get into the angle first and then follow the curve through that was wrong with that turn there as you can see we're coming up on gold now and as you can see that's a new record of 33.432 so that was almost it was over four temps quicker than my previous best gold so that's not something that's that's better um, I still feel like I can get under 32 there, to be honest with you. I still think there's a bit of room there. So I think I've got about four temps to get out of that as we come on to sector two here. Again, this is the first lap, but first go of the night. I, again, this is the second sector, so I lost the original footage. So I thought I'd go back and show you how good I am at it again. <laughs> I noticed the way they leave the grooves in the gravel there. And that tree stump points you to the road to nowhere there <laughs> as we come off again. Please don't spin me again. Please don't. There we go. Yeah, up in the third gear early because I feel that's the easiest way to control these cars sometimes. And I take that corner <laughs> amazingly well again. <laughs> oh, you have to laugh, don't you? Oh, you cry. Um, so as we go up the finish, <laughs> so as you can see, I, I actually think when you look at it, when you look at the gold medal at 30 and that time at 50, I really, I really do think you could have got gold medals after that if you can, you can go around there in 25 seconds if you could. So we do it again now. As you go, go a little wide there, but it doesn't put me off too much. And that's, that's why I, I went wide there. Again, you should be taking that in fourth gear that turning. So that shows you how how poor I am there as, as now I do get that turning mixed up with this turning up here for the two those last two turns gets mixed up I don't know but as we go there you can see we clearly got a new gold record of 39 was it 30 tw sorry 29 492 and my previous best there was um 29 7 5 3 so that was a bit of an improvement there again which comes with a new record now this is where i left it i got the strop i got the bronze very quickly and then i just couldn't seem to beat the ghost and after about 15 minutes trying to beat this sector sector something just snapped to me and went i'm not playing this anymore <laughs> and i didn't for about two weeks <laughs> um 
so as you can see we took the corkscrew rather well there this corner here is giving me trouble i'm not getting that right and then it's leading me into a bit of a, a slow ear now again you, that was a poor corner you can easily go off wide there um you should be taking that at about 130 kilometers a mile which is around about um 80 mile an hour as you can see me coming up to the line there so there you go that's the actual very next record after the bronze that's the very next race after the bronze because i i do it sector one sector two sector three and then the um complete lap so because i only got the bronze there that's why the silver was um the new record so after a few more attempts now to be honest with you it's more like 40 attempts now i i put this sector together it's still not as good around the um corkscrew there around here still gives me a bit of a problem but i'm expecting that that's a lot better a bit slower but a lot better now you need to break around the, where the curbstone starts there to get me right there so you can get slingshot around here and just power away without now normally i wiggle there a little bit coming out of that corner but that was a lot better as you can see there that gives me the new gold of 44691 so that obviously you can see there with the points and the prizes there that was my first time of beating the gold now I did feel that I could do better than that so I went again this is just like icing on the cake for me at the moment to be honest you, you see took that took it in fourth gear went around there a lot better and that you need to break around that white line there as they say on the circuit experience video you need to break there now turned a little bit too much they need to swing to the left more a little bit more and come around here now this is the corner again real trouble with so this is one of the weak points around this last sector here again you can see the ghost coming in there so we take that a lot better as we come up to the final bend here i i still think i mean to be honest with you i still think there's three or four attempts to come off that sector two to be honest here as you can see that's 44 6 5 4. i think i can get that down to 44 dead i think that's what my aim therefore is is 44 dead on that sector i think it's a realistic target here as you can see now this is the first time i've ever gone around the lap because there's no time set there so this is the first lap nah <laughs> yeah <laughs> not particularly <laughs> glorious around the andretti air pin there <laughs> now you you need to swing out wide and no, I, I, I would argue that if you don't want to clip that curve, because if you go over it, you do you do it the the gravel, and it does swing you violently around there. So if you want to stay off the curb, do so, and you break around the second marker ball there, and and that's a lot better now. Go a little wide there, but not too bad there. Now you, again, you need to break around the two marker ball there again you can take that in fourth gear i'm a bit slow there but you can definitely take that in fourth gear that break at that white line that gives you enough time now to get the car settled to go into the corkscrew now i took that a little wider could have been a bit narrower but swung out to the left at the end of it now i took this in fourth gear so it, it, i'm a lot better there as you break around the start the curb stones drop down to third and swing around there be careful not to run right there and just take this final cut turn here i dropped down to one there i don't know if it's really necessary or if you can stay in second gear there well, i tried to stay in second gear um and there you go and now that's my first bronze the 120 127.209 that's not too bad now to be honest with you again this is a couple of goes later um as the ghost will leave now as we come up to the Andretti air pin I'm still not taking that at the right angle so it does leave me problems here but I think I do go that little bit slow around there I feel I could have gone a bit faster there and again this isn't that's not too bad that's less tire school could have got a better exit there but again it's Laguna Saint is going to be one of those 
800-900 mile circuits that you have to do before you can actually stay on the circuit for any length of time it's I find with Lunguna Sega it's not how, how fast you go around it it's how many times you come off of it you know it's easy an easy track to come off and lose five ten seconds on so it's again it's about consistency rather than speed at the moment I'm just don't know the track well enough I can't even visualize it at the moment with my eyes closed which isn't a good sign if you can't do that you, you, you don't know the track in my opinion so you should be able to close your eye and say when you where, where you're going through the gears and and what corner you're on and where you are and where you need to accelerate and that at the apexes and where your turning points are as we go around again that was a better a better last corner there as we, as we come steaming up the home straight in there and there we go and then that's it 124.244 and that gets me my final gold medal there now to be fair that was about 30 times there so Laguna Seca isn't an easy track for me at the moment so it's got to be plenty more practice there um, as you can see now we do get the free gift of the car oh no we do the gold medal gloat first sorry here's the gold medal gloat yeah look at that okay <laughs> as we come out of it now <laughs> oh, you can never have enough gloating sometimes can you especially against the computer there you go and that's the original for free car for the, all the golds achieved it's still not a Batman build with a programmable machine gun as the triangle button for the rammers. There we go. I have no idea what that car is. There we go. It's a Mazda. I have never raced you in a proper race anyway, so never mind. There we go. And there's the milestone achieved. And that brings us nicely to the end of this circuit experience episode. Now, don't forget to hit the like button the thumbs up it does help me youtube have changed their algorithms recently so you do really help me get out to the masses there so i would just like to say thank you for watching and i will see you on the next lap